It happened this week, the loss of three artists in very different fields. Car designer Ferdinand Alexander Porsche died Thursday in Austria at the age of 76. The grandson of the founder of the German automaker, Ferdinand Porsche designed the Porsche 911 sports car, widely hailed as the perfect blend of form and function when it was released in the 1960s. Though since remodeled six times over, the Porsche 911 retains the basic design of the original, while retaining the loyalty of fans around the world. Jim Marshall died Thursday in London at the age of 88. Marshall didn't invent the rock guitar amplifier, he just made it louder, a lot louder. A drum store owner with an engineering background, Marshall developed his namesake amplifier in the early 1960s at the urging of rock musicians like The Who's Peter Townsend, who wanted a louder and fuzzier sound. Soon, stacks of Marshall amplifiers were staples on every rock concert stage. In Rob Reiner's 1984 faux documentary, This is Spinal Tap, a rock musician played by Christopher Guest explains how he'd renumbered the volume control on his Marshall in the delusional belief that it would sound even louder. The numbers all go to 11. Look, right across the board, 11, 11, and most of 11, and then amps go up to 10. Exactly. Does that mean it's louder? Is it any louder? Well, it's one louder, isn't it? Not that the Marshall needed any relabeling. As most concert goers would agree, 10 on one of Jim Marshall's amplifiers is quite loud enough. And we learned of the passing of Thomas Kincaid, the very popular painter who died Friday at his California home. Warm and cozy images of home and hearth and idyllic landscapes were Kincaid's unmistakable trademark. High art purists may have held his work in low regard, but that bothered neither Kincaid nor his fans. As he put it in a 60 Minutes interview back in 2001, he was trying to do for art what author Danielle Steele was doing for romance novels. There's been million seller books and million seller CDs, but there hasn't been till now million seller art. America's most popular artist. The figures seem to bear him out. His paintings are said to hang in some 10 million American homes, about one home in 20. A family spokesman says he appears to have died of natural causes. Thomas Kincaid was just 54.